What you are looking at is the APC 1500, which I recently purchased off eBay for $100. And I did several weeks of research before purchasing this very necessary tool. For me to upload videos at night with a 90 watt modem, I'll tell you what, two golf cart batteries at six volts doesn't cut it. Something like this will actually run my 90 watt modem for an hour and a half. And I ran the first test earlier this morning. Tonight will be the second test. And so there's a lot of possibilities with products like this. And honestly, I wish I knew about this before. But I'm glad that I did the research on this product and that I did not go with the Goal Zero, for example, which is known to be a solar power generator. You can plug it in. It also has its own solar panels, which cost extra. And the reason I didn't go with it is because of the amp hours and because it's a lithium battery. This is not a lithium battery. This is a lead acid battery. And so, you know, I've been brainstorming, how can I think outside the box of the deep cycle marine grade battery? How can I think outside the box of the golf cart battery? How can I have just enough power? How can I have just enough energy to run my modem for several hours each night? So what I found as soon as I plug this in is that it fully charges and it takes about 12 hours and it comes with a CD. I bought this used, so it did not. But the software is available online and by getting a Ethernet to USB cable, you can connect the, uh, the APC to a laptop and you can monitor the data and information in real time. But that isn't actually necessary. You can actually turn it on and this unit at the moment is plugged in and even though the sun has gone down at the moment it's uh, you know 432 or <laughs> going into winter quickly snows in the forecast it has a trickle charge so it is slowly pulling from the grid if you will it is slowly pulling from the inverter from my golf cart battery bank and as you cycle through here we can see the input 121 volts we can see that the battery is charged we can see that there's no load on it it indicates that we're on battery. It also has a little emblem for sound, and you can turn that off at the far left corner. It's like turn off that alarm telling you the, uh, the cookies are done. Uh, but the alarm is there to let you know when the battery is low. And so I've, um, here we're at zero watts. Okay, as we plug something in, we'll kind of show you how it goes up. Now what I'm plugging in here is my uh, Himalayan sea salt lamp. Provides a real nice ambiance, if you will. You know, especially in low power, low light situations. Real subtle. So now we're at 9 watts. Now this light is adjustable. Now we're going all the way down to 0 watts. And it's recalibrating. 7, 8, 11, 12. 1% load. And I believe the modem is about a 7% load. So as I look at this device, I'm also thinking about the possibilities. Runtime, by the way, 186 minutes recalibrated with the light plugged in. Unplug the light and then it goes back up to 262 minutes. So say for example I plug in the modem, you know, it's going to give me an average if it's fully charged that is uh, an average time of anywhere between 80 and 100 minutes. Now the cool thing about this particular model as opposed to some of the other models uh, is that you can add other batteries, auxiliary batteries and so as soon as this arrived, I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, maybe the battery is shot. Because when you buy something used, you know, especially with a warranty, and you buy it less than it's normally um, priced at. I bought this for $100 on eBay. There's always a risk of the batteries being no good. For example, I have, a, I have an iPod that was sitting dormant for a period of time. It's no longer turning on because the battery was dead for so long. This arrived with no charge whatsoever when UPS delivered it to my home. And so after about a full day of charging, again, 
all I have are two golf cart batteries. It's a trickle charge. So this is the type of thing that I think the not only the off gridder, but the person traveling with a uh, you know one of those cigarette lighter chargers. And if you're only pulling so much power, they have the adapters where you can literally plug in and charge a laptop or charge something else. So whether you're in a RV situation, a mobile situation, uh, a situation at your house where you don't have solar panels, but you definitely want to have several hours worth of power, I'll tell you what, this seems to be one of the best products, I think, on the market. The main complaint that some people have had, like with other products, happens to be the batteries going bad. So the idea is to get extra batteries. What you're seeing on the screen are extra laptop batteries, for example, that I bought for this particular model laptop, $13 each on Amazon. And so the strategy behind this is to have enough laptop batteries to run the computer so the computer at night does not get plugged into the AP C1500. Instead, the APC 1500 is a designated standalone to run the modem, which again takes 90 watts of power, which is more power than, say, your average wireless device, for example, or charging a cell phone. You know, the thing is, trying to run off golf cart batteries, I have to run the generator, which takes gas, and it gets the job done. It's also, um, noisy to be running a generator and I want to keep things as quiet as possible so what would be actually interesting is to see in my opinion like an off-grid studio where people are using you know multiple battery banks and they're working day and night and I'm just a one-man show I'm just a one-man operation so this is where I'm starting and if I knew about this years ago I would have got this I would have got this in my uh, teardrop camper when I was back in Portland I had no idea though that it was that affordable and that you know certain models like this again buying multiple batteries you know I bought one extra battery at forty dollars it's gonna be delivered tomorrow and I really am not able to purchase anything beyond that it's time to really hunker down and prepare for winter but I'm definitely light years ahead of where I was six months ago and ahead of where I was a year ago. Typically you don't see people producing multimedia off the grid because of the amount of energy that it takes. And so it, it really is uh, it's really the best of both worlds. Again taking a look at the LED screen the APC 1500. This is definitely a product that I would recommend.